This is a short demonstration about using the auto summarize feature in Microsoft Word with your smart notebook and Inkaware to teach summarizing. The first thing you need to do is open up a Microsoft Word document, which I have down here. I'm just going to open up this document on imperialism. This document happens to be about three pages long. If I scroll down, you can see that it's about three pages, which is a good length to start teaching students how to summarize an article. And you can get an article from uh, Wikipedia or um, Time for Kids, any, any uh, place where you get um, text uh, about certain topics uh, that is um, kid-friendly and easy to read. So this one happens to be about imperialism. So the first thing that we're going to do here is to highlight. What you would do is tell, tell your students, or do this as a full class, uh, to take a look at the document and figure out which points are the main points. Those are the ones that are going to be included in the summary. So we're going to use our floating toolbar, which is over here on the left. I'm just going to make it visible here, and select my highlight tool. And it's a good idea to select a highlight color other than yellow. So I've selected the highlight color of green. The minute I click on the highlight uh, tool, I can see that up here my ribbon has changed. And now I have the tab Add-ins open. And you see that here are my Inkaware tools. Uh, the first tool here is to add uh, as a graphic. The next one is to add as text, and I can take a picture of this and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead on and just highlight a few things here just for demonstration purposes. So I'll highlight, you know, the first sentence of this paragraph, and you're highlighting it, and I'm going to go ahead and go down here and highlight this area, and so on, and I might go down here and highlight. So you get the idea. Now once I have highlighted all of this, I'm going to insert these highlights into the document itself by clicking on the Inkaware tool up here in the upper left-hand corner, uh, Insert as Image. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to insert the highlights now inside the document so that when I click on the document to edit it, those highlights will not go away. The next thing I want to do is activate the Auto Summarize tools in Microsoft Word. I'm going to go up here to my rainbow ball and go down to where it says Word Options. I'm going to go into Customize, and you can see that right now uh, I have uh, popular commands up here, but I want to see all the commands. So I'm going to do the drop down menu and select All Commands. They are alphabetical, so I'm going to scroll down in the A's. I want to look for my auto summarizing tools and here they are auto summary tools clicking on that and if I want to um, make those a part of my customized quick access toolbar I would say add but I see that I already have them here so I'm not going to do that so once you have added your auto summary tools to your quick access toolbar go ahead and click on OK and then you will see up here at the top on the left, your Auto Summary Tools icon. There's a little drop-down menu here. If I click on that, I can go into Auto Summarize and summarize this document. You can see that there are several choices for the, sum the kind of summary that you want. You can have Microsoft Word highlight the key points. You can have it create a new document, put the summary there. You can insert an executive summary or abstract at the top of the document, or you can hide everything except the summary. And then down here, you can choose the length that you want your summary to be. 25% is a good percentage uh, of um, the original. 25 to 30 is a, is a good amount. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. I'm choosing Highlight Key Points. And you can see now that Microsoft Word has highlighted the points that they think should go in the summary in yellow. Whereas I personally have highlighted the points that I think uh, should go in the summary in green using my floating toolbar over here on the left. And if we scroll down the document, you can see that Microsoft Word has highlighted more things that they think. So this is a great way to show your students how to summarize. 
Sometimes the summary that Microsoft Word creates uh, is, is not the best summary. So it's a good discussion point for students in terms of what have they selected uh, either individually or as a class uh, as the main points compared to what Microsoft Word selected as the main points of the summary. And it's a great jumping off point for uh, teaching summarizing.